All right. Um, double check to make sure the meeting is being recorded. Yes. <laughs> make sure we have a quorum. So, wait, what is our quorum again? Like, if it's half, seven. half of the meeting plus one, half of the members plus one. Yes, yeah, so that's okay. four. four out so, of seven like, is right a quorum. now we're just missing one member. So, we're all right. So, we're at a quorum. All right. And sound check, can everybody hear? Yep. Yes. All right. Yep. And then, okay, here's the thing I actually read. Pursuant to chapter 20 of the Act of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access that meeting can do so by clicking on the live link to this Zoom meeting that can be found on the public meeting calendar of the Town of Amherst website or by dialing in by phone. The public is able to comment during the public comment segment of the post agenda by raising their hand. This meeting is being recorded and will be posted to the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. I'm not exactly sure how to answer if somebody does raise their hand. I'm not sure how to like make it so you know. Oh, yeah. So when it comes to public comment, um, you just ask if the attendees want to speak and then they raise their hand. And then I think you go to their name and you can right click on their name and, and that'll give them the, it'll give you an option to allow them to speak. But you only do that at the public comment section of the meeting. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll be here, so I, we'll figure it out. Okay. I can't, I'm not the host, so I can't, I don't see that option on my, on my screen, but. Uh, yeah. Oh, here I'm going to raise the hand so you can see it. Yeah, it's just different. It, it's, it's different for attendees. But, I was just going to illustrate it, so check it, see if it worked. Okay. All right. So I guess the first thing is, wait, where's the? I had to open that email from her, so then I ha I had to leave the email from you that has the agenda in it. Oops. Well, from now on, you're the person who sets the agenda, so you get to pick what yeah. goes where and when and what to <laughs> discuss. <laughs> All right, so I guess the first thing is would be chair's report. Um, if memory serves me. Um, what kind of stuff is usually in the chair report? Cause like, I wanna, I'm thinking like the, the thing that might be most relevant is kind of going over like a postmortem of the poetic dialogue. So chair's report would be anything that I had dealt with in the interim between meetings that wasn't part of the agenda otherwise that I thought, okay. you know, should be updated. I mean, I think right now a big issue for chair's report is the passing of the chair Personship, and we should just make sure that you know. So I'm giving you the reins that you have what you need, and the other people in the committee or the commission rather, um, you know, are have what they need. So what do you need from me in terms of info? I have to give you the magic box, so you have to yeah. get that for me. It's yeah, we're gonna have to get that box. Ton of info in it. Um, obviously, you can always reach out to me whatever you need help with anything in terms of administrative stuff or otherwise. Did you have any other questions or thoughts? Or did anybody else on the commission have any questions or thoughts? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so I guess moving along, being that like I haven't done anything, so I haven't, you know, really been the chair yet. Um, how are we on, like, Bill, have you heard back from, like, moving on to that poetic dialogue postmortem? Um, have you heard back from Kamal when you sent him that email no. about switching, it's big fixing that? Nope. All right, how should we proceed on this issue? Do you think anyone have any ideas? Does anyone, does everybody know what I'm talking about? Actually? I don't know. Nope. Okay. Um, it was noticed that um, they actually got switched when poetic dialogue got re reinstalled. 
um, Robert Frost is in Emily's spot and Emily is in Robert Frost spot. And so oh. it's yeah. like, it's a mirror image of how it used to be. That's and very funny. So is there a labeling problem? The, well, the, um, the little books that go with them, they are with the right person. So it's like, it's, it's not like that part's reversed. It's just, it's different than it was before. But that's the only problem. So we don't have any uh, discrepancy between a printed material and, and that is just different. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. yeah the the one issue is that they, when they're seated in the correct positions, they're looking at each other, but now seated in the opposite positions, they're looking Oops. off in different directions. So that. Oh. Okay. So that, is that the only, disadvantage of the present setup the biggest one i would say yeah is there anything else? i'm just trying to figure out i was hoping to ignore it but that one that might be a little awkward that one yeah so did somebody complain about it yes yeah. there has been a complaint about it and who who was it who complained and and what why did it come up even because since you didn't have any luck bill finding the people who built it, you know, who designed it and built it. Yeah, it wasn't the original artist. It was a member of the public. Okay. That is that who put, who is, is that a member of the public installed it incorrectly? Is that the situation? What? Uh, wait, I'm what trying to figure about? out who installed it incorrectly. Could oh, the um, Kamal did. Who? Kamal Peters did. Can we call him and say, please reverse it? Uh, well, Bill sent him an email, but he's not heard back from him. Could could we hear the original complaint email so we'll know what you're talking uh, well, about? Well, it was done in person, but also on Facebook. Let me, I can draw it up. Great, thank you. It was, I tried to message them directly through Messenger, but it wasn't um they didn't have that ability and for some reason my facebook is like not working what's going on well you could just send us a transcript of the complaint if you can't it doesn't right. happen right now okay yeah for some reason my facebook has gone completely white which is weird yeah but, but i i feel like i have kind of the gist of it i it, it, I'll, I'll tell you what i think it is I think the gist of it is it doesn't make any difference except that the people are facing away from each other, which is a bit jarring. They're not facing away from each other. Uh, they're, you said they were looking in opposite directions. No, that's not what I said. I said they're not looking up. They're just not looking at each other. So instead of what it was, I think Robert was looking down at Emily. When you switch them, he, he's kind of looking up and she's looking down or something. I mean, they're still facing each other, but oh. instead of their, instead of their gaze. Not. Instead of their gaze meeting, it's kind of askew. Oh. I, I'd have to look at it to see if I thought it was a big deal. Yeah, I, it sounds like a little deal, but you know, the seeing's believing. So I yeah. Think, right. Yeah. I mean, there's also the issue of honoring the artist's original intentions, of course. Well, um, yeah. you kick it to the artist and let the artist fix it. The artist is long gone. Um, oh. It's the, the quite. It's the person who did the install. Oh, okay, uh, I've got someone's name Terry Rooney that has okay. raised their hand. Like, Sh Shona, can... Shona, that's not. You have to wait. And you only take public comment during public comment period. And oh, okay. People don't just participate in general meetings like that. Okay. And All then, right. and then they can't ask questions. They just make a statement. That's how public comment works. Ah, uh, okay. When is usually public comment? Should I have done it's, that? It's, a, right it's, away? It's, it's on the agenda. So you, you follow the agenda. I can. I submitted it, the agenda, but then it disappeared. So, Bill, what is the yeah. is the issue if it's if it's reasonable and it should be corrected? What's the steps that you recommend that people take to make it right? Well, the artist we hired to do the <laughs> installation installed it wrong. So he okay. should go back and fix it for free, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, but he's not, he hasn't responded. I mean, I haven't uh, sent more than one email. So he was ago. paid already for installing it? My question is, right. too. He yeah, has he, been paid? He's been paid, yes. 
What was he paid? What was the amount he was paid? Actually, yeah. well, it, it wasn't a huge amount. I, I forget the, uh, do you remember, Shona? Um, I think it was a thousand dollars. About a thousand, maybe less yeah. even. Oh. That's not oh. pocket change to pay out to get it redone. Well, it was a good, he gave us a good deal, but that he should still have installed it right. The problem is that there wasn't anybody, we were there when he took it out, but not when he went to install it, to reinstall it. In fact, we didn't really know when he was going to do it. He just showed up and did it. So did he forget to, he just forgot the way it was? <laughs> Presumably. I don't know. Well, I mean, that's his job for a thousand bucks or whatever. He, he should have taken a photo of it so he couldn't, and that's that's not an excuse that we weren't there. Well, we don't know what happened because maybe something did come up that led him to install it that way for a reason. We we don't we don't know because that's he hasn't true. he hasn't told us. Maybe there was some technical issue that caused him to want to do it that way. Um, but so, I, but we should find out for did sure. Did I understand you to say that you haven't been able to reach him despite attempts? Uh, yes. Then the fact that we don't know that is his fault. <laughs> well, sure. So where I'm standing, I don't know if it's worth the hassle. So I, I kind of want to go out there. Am I still on next month? I believe so. OK, so then I want to go by there and look, take a look. And then I think what we need to do is try to get in touch with the artist and say, hey, do you mind fixing it? Because it's, it wasn't the, for contract and see what he says. And next month, we should put this on the agenda and decide to ignore it or pursue it. Yeah, that seems reasonable. That's what I think, because right now we're missing a lot of information. Yeah. Yeah. Go and ahead. we don't know if it's a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, deal or a little deal. All right, also, do we have anyone taking minutes? Jim, are you taking minutes? I am now, but you got to give me a minute. OK, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Uh, I will be right back with takers tools, i.e. paper. So Shona, you, do you want to follow up with Kamal and see if you can get a response out of him? Okay. Find out what happened and what his feeling is about putting them in the positions they're supposed to be in. But that said, it was a great event. Thank you, Dara, for organizing. It was really sweet. I thought the, <laughs> the dialogue was great. There was a great turnout. Yep. Um, all the, except for that, which is a pretty big piece. <laughs> Not that many people <laughs> noticed, the stars did a line for everything else. So that I didn't notice. <laughs> I love yeah, those girls. Those you did a good ones. job, Dara. I really appreciate all that work that you put in. Okay, okay I'm back. Okay. Poetic dialogue was the first thing. Okay. Yeah, and, and wh where we left it, Jim, was that Shona was going to try to get in touch with Kamal. Yeah. And, and see what his take on the whole situation is. And then, then you, were, as you aptly said, it should be on the agenda for the next. Well, my amendment would be, I think we should ask him to tr fix it and see how much pushback we get, if any. Yeah. Unless when we look at it, the only difference would make if it's so trivial that it really doesn't matter. So, you know, I think I would look at it, talk to him, if I thought personally as the chairperson that it was trivial and not worth doing, I would talk to him about it and tell him that if we vote to fix it, would can he do that? And then we could vote if it's like bigger deal, I would go ahead and ask him to fix it and see what he says. Does that sound good? Okay, well, I'll talk to him and just see if he'll just fix it okay and then like if if there's an issue we'll we'll hash out more we'll see my, if it, my ideas it'll just fix itself 
<laughs> well, yeah, I have my ideas. Who's got a copy of his contract? I have one. Could you please send to Attorney Barnhill? Sure. Thank you. <laughs> that being me. All right. Um, would we like to have some public comment now? We actually went into that before. Public comment was supposed to be first, actually. That's your call. Oh, sure. All right. So let me see how I can do this. Attendee. We have two attendees. Right, Terry has her hand up, so it looks like Terry, she wants Terry. to comment. Allow to talk. Here we go. All right. Terry, are you able to talk? You're muted. You've got that little muted icon on the corner there. And Jim, you should note for the minutes her name. And Terry, you should say you should say your name and where you live, at least generally speaking. I'm Terry Rooney. I live in Amherst. I used to be the chair for the Public Arts Commission. Also, the other person, Ann Burton, also yes. was. And she was chair when the poetry group was installed. So it's best that you speak with her about details on that. OK. Great. Is that it? Oh, okay. I guess maybe Ann wants to speak. So, so, so Ann, Ann Burton was the chair. OK, I just like unmuted. Can okay. you hear me now? Hi, Ann. How are you? I'm OK. Um, I was not only the chair, but I'm a sculptor myself. So I have to tell you that, yes, it makes a difference. The, the relationship of the two figures, it made a difference to the sculptor who sculpted it. Okay. And I think as a public commission, uh, when we installed it, we had an obligation to the artist whose name I don't happen to remember, but I do respect that the piece was that the, the two figures are in relationship to each other. So the height mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. each really does count. It's not meaningless. And I hope you will be able to have the person who um, fixed it correct his fix because, uh, because we have an obligation to the artists whose work is there. And when you accept public work, you don't just cut the tie with the person who did it. That's all. Thank you. I hope you'll do that. Yes, thank you. Well, based on that, I think we should try to get it fixed. Yeah, I'm gonna talk to Kamal, get him to talk to me. Oh, that's Kamal. So if you need help. Shona, you can take those guys out now so that they're not. Okay. Not um, the public comment as well. How, how do I do that? Do I j just push the mute or is there some other thing? No, you should be able to eject them hot or, you know, by right clicking, there should be like a little option there or scrolling over where the names are. Let's see. Oh, by the way, thank you for your comments. In the absence, yes, thank you. Of, yeah, they were help, extremely helpful to me, especially in the absence of looking at looking at it. I couldn't. You're you're welcome. May may I just interject something that maybe you don't know historically because something seems to have changed very drastically. When okay. it it was during my six years on the commission, it was understood that when the art commission gave the piece of work, we raised the money to fund it. And by the way, the artist only got a thousand dollars for the piece of work. So it's interesting that your fix is about the same price. But the understanding with the town was that once we gave a piece of artwork to the town, it was the town's responsibility to fix, keep it in its proper shape, 
to do yeah. whatever that the town was then financially responsible for keeping the peace in order. And I'm really sorry that was thrown back into your laps. Yeah, we, ha we have had no, no funding from the town really or financial support from the town at all. So we've had to raise what little bits of money we can as we can, so yeah. it's been very challenging. We, we never had funding, but, but the understanding was once the town owned the piece, they were responsible for caring for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it even actually took a, several years to get that funding together to restore it because it had been rusty for quite a while. And the town did not pay for it. It came from a grant from the cultural council from the- That's the, right. Right, so. Oh, no, I mean, the okay, the town didn't pay for the piece begin originally. Right. We used a grant from the cultural council to pay for the piece, right. but it was understood that it was the town's responsibility to keep it well. Right, right, right. No, I hear you, but I'm telling you that that we had to use a cultural council grant to pay for the upkeep. So uh, that, that's understood, yeah, understood. Yeah. Yeah, but the point is well taken. I mean, yeah. if you get a piece of art and you own it, I think it'd be really nice to take care of it. Yeah, of course. Did the town have an opportunity to offer to pay for the restoration? Yeah, yeah. Oh. And, and they said no? It's not budgeted. No. Mm -hmm. So they threw it back into the lap of the commission. Correct. Okay. Wait a minute, this is visual art. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to do a little work. I may want to have more to say about this next time, but I'm not going to talk about it until I go back and look because I don't want to say something's wrong. But I'm going to do a little work. I'm going to do a little homework on this. Okay, thank you. All right, Anne and Terry, are you guys all set? Yes, thank you for letting us sit in. I'm, I'm, I'm really here to be helpful history, nothing else, just- Okay. You can you. ask me, but I really shouldn't have anything else to say. Okay. Thanks. All right. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. Now I will remove you. If you still want to watch us and I like wind up sending you off to, too far, um, well, I I've, come I'm back. The, I'm muting myself. Okay, so you won't hear any more from me. You okay. might want to take your hands down too if you're done. Thank you. You should um, unlist them as participants if you can. Okay, you can. so maybe don't put the, don't remove it. There's choices. You should, here. You should remove them. Remove them, completely remove them. Because okay, there's. Yeah. Ask to unmute, remove permission to talk, hide non-video participants, and remove. I think remove. I don't. The mo is that going to kick them out of the meeting? I don't know, but they should be able to get back in. No, if you take permission to talk off, why, why isn't that enough? All right. Well, you can clarify this with Angela. But do whatever you think. Um, clarify it with Angela for the next meeting. Well, if you kick them out by mistake, it's a violation of the open meeting law. So that that would be a very bad thing to happen. All right, how they, about we should be able to log back to in? Okay, sure. Just try that. Okay, that that worked. That was it. All right, okay. Perfect. <laughs> okay, also, okay, so actually, can I interject something? Yeah. Um, yep. Back to the chair's report as ex chair, the because I don't think it made it onto the agenda or. Anyway, was the installation of the uh, new Grinspoon sculpture that's installed and up and in, and actually yep. it, looks, it looks great. I don't know how many of you have seen it, but just, just uh, yeah. I don't yeah. know if you want to do anything in association with it, or I don't. I didn't go up to it real close to see if they put a new sign in, so that might be a question. Um, but it's there, and from passing by, it looks fantastic, actually. Uh, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, I just drove past it the other day and saw that it was actually in and looking mm -hmm. well. So I I want to do at least some social media stuff about it. Yeah. So I need to know slowly what got installed for the minutes, please. Yeah, Harold Grinspoon's. Oh, okay. Orion's Belt sculpture in Kendrick Park. 
Okay, I know what you're talking about. It just happened so fast I couldn't hear it. Yep. So I'm I'm, I'm glad we picked that one. You know, I was the most skeptical of it, but but it, it looks it looks good. And the silver balls are really high up. So I think there may be a college student who tries to knock them down, but it, it's not going to be easy. <laughs> so. And North Common Public Art. That's there's nothing going on with that. Percent for art, there's nothing with that. Um, well, you really, I mean, so Maureen should be here at this meeting, frankly. Um, she could talk to those things. Uh, but the other thing that we really need to, or you guys are gonna really need to figure out is, and this is slightly tangential, but is the grant from the uh, portal gallery, because that's now in our account and that money is there and should be spent. But the question, sorry, I'm getting off on another tangent. I should stop until we get there. So percent for art, are we going to invite Maureen for the next meeting or in accordance with your, your, your saying she should be? She here. should be more, more for the, this issue of, of the two grants, um, percent for art as well. So she, there's three topics that she should be involved in the discussions about percent for art and the North Common restoration project, which is, which is, and whether or not, or how contemporary art or public art will go in there. That's what Shona just raised. Um, next is the, the $10,000 grant associated with the making it public program that she and I did. And then how, or if that will relate to the $2,500 grant from the Amherst Cultural Council for the next round of the portal gallery. Right. So those three things, but particularly the $10,000 making a public grant and the $2,500 grant for the uh, portal gallery space are really hanging over our heads. I mean, one of the reasons why I'm stepping down now is because actually I'm going to be out of town for a good chunk of the summer, it turns out. My family's going to be traveling, so I just won't really be around um, to be working on either of those. and. Uh, you know, but the money is there from the cultural council. Uh, you know, if you don't spend it, then I guess you have to give it back. Um, if you want to try to spend it, I don't know if they'll let you spend it on something else, whether it's related or not. Um, but it, all that needs to be sorted because it's not that yeah. is what it's not a small undertaking. Which is why I thought if you combine that with the making it public grant, then you have, you know. 12500 $12, dollars to spend, and you could do a bigger thing sort of in that whole area, which could be really cool. Um, and you wouldn't have two competing projects necessarily. But that's it all has to be sorted out. And there's a lot of logistics to think through. And if you want to have something in there in the fall, you know, the ball should be rolling already. Um, so that's where I'm passing the hat a little bit. Uh, and I can help out certainly, even as not a member of the commission, whether it's serving on a jury or whatever it may be, but um, I'm just not going to be around to be able to organize those things. Okay. Um, yeah, I would like to even just have a real life in person meeting with Maureen just to like get like fully informed on you know, everything about making it public. Because mm -hmm. like, I'm still a little foggy on what that actually is and how we can utilize that. But yeah, it would be good to have her here. Um, I, would highly uh, I would highly recommend doing that. In fact, and I would maybe bring another person from the commission along with you. Um, okay. And, uh, and really getting your head around what planning department is thinking, what she's thinking, mm -hmm. um, and how that would fit with the existing grant money that we already have. Um, I think it's a really good idea. Okay. All right. I'll also contact Maureen and see when we can get together. All right. And Okay, so that speaks with the Boltwood Walk. Anyone else have any ideas about the Boltwood Walk? Because like I was actually tossing around the idea of like we already had submissions from the last time that we did it. We could just like pull like a 
another name from those submissions if we wanted. And no, then we don't have to... That would be an easy solution for sure. Yeah. I feel like that <clears throat> being that like right now we're we don't have a lot of manpower on the commission and we don't have a lot of time. It's <laughs> the one thing we have, I guess, is money, which is unusual for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, one of the burners is out. So what do you guys think of that idea? Like, what is it? Tell me that idea again. I was <laughs> Of like um, using one of the other artists that submitted a plan for mm -hmm. the, for the Boltwood project. Remember, we had, uh, I think, at least three people submit something, but maybe four. And use that person for what? And use one of those people for putting in another installation this fall. Oh, so they already submitted a proposal, go back to them and say, now we like it again. Right. But, right, got it. How long ago like, was Like it? a different one. This was last year. Okay, so that's, they already submitted for Boatwood. Now we're going to say, now we're picking you for boat, Boatwood. That's an idea that I've got, yeah. That's not so bad. Can you do what kind of things like? I would suggest getting Ellen involved in this conversation too. It's too bad she's not here today. I was hoping she would be because she has opinions about that space. Um, yeah. Uh, David, the illustrator, was, was somebody she was championing for that. Uh, I forget the name of the other artist, Re Rebecca, I think, who submitted. Um, but... Yeah. I feel like when we voted before that David Hyde Costello was kind yeah. of like the second runner, like the first runner up, I guess you could say. The, the, it was the second place choice of us. The, the issue that comes up in my mind is whether artists who did not know about the project or for some reason did not submit to the project are going to be annoyed that they didn't get a chance to submit to the current issue. Yeah. Yeah, so the first the first round was just a pilot, which is why we did a sort of handpicked selection of people to submit um, projects for it. But the intention was that there would be an open call for the next round. Um, and I know that for making it public, there certainly will be. So that's another argument in, you know, for bringing those two things together, because, you know, with that $1,200 or whatever it ends up being, you don't have to have one artist. You can have a couple of artists doing different things around the area, you know. Um, so and so, you could put out a call, ask for some, you know, possible installations in that space, in that tunnel space, in the plaza. You know, all, you know, there's lots of little nooks and crannies around there, and then you could pick a couple of people to do different things, um, which would be pretty cool. Just what is the downside of going back and asking to put out a call for submissions? just the time it takes but yeah i, I mean i think you have to I, I think that it has to i'm not going to be around so i can't say one way or another but that, that's me. i'd like to hear your opinion yeah i mean i think that that's important on the other hand it's, you know if the money has to be spent um oh i see we or have it's going to go away well then. how long when does it have to be spent by well see, I, said, I don't know anything is this the Amherst cultural commission that we're worried about Right. Yeah, I but think I can get the answer to that shortly, but I cannot get it right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, things things have been a little bit funny because of COVID. So they've allowed us to extend, you know, because of COVID, we were able to extend the, some of the money for the um, poetic dialogue restoration for the groundwork into this year. Um, and that, that may be the case with this round of grants that we can extend them into next year as well. I don't know. That would be a question to answer too, because that would take some of the time pressure off if we didn't have to have the money spent by, you know, before January 1st. I think, I think we I need just, to know in order to talk about it. I think I'm probably in the position of being able to find that out the easiest, so I volunteer to do that. <laughs> okay. Thank okay, you. thanks. How old do you have to be to serve on this commission? 94. <laughs> no, seriously, how young? So the, that's, that question has been raised before. Can, can it's high school? You can be young. Huh? Yeah, I've on the tree committee, there's a high school kid. Uh huh. I think I, the minimum age is 16. Uh, uh, 16. Yeah. 
Okay. So what about recruiting people for the commission? How does that, how is that done or is it? Angela is going to talk to the person who can put it out on like their website to, uh -huh. to and, uh, so get somebody. Is it a rolling, you know, a rolling deadline kind of thing until how, what's the maximum number of people that can be, who can be on the commission? Seven. Seven. Okay. Okay. And right now there are, or will be as of what, how many? There's five right now. As of your next meeting, there will be four, which is the absolute minimum for a quorum, which means okay. you're still allowed to meet. But if somebody doesn't show up, you can't meet. Okay. Meet. Well, and Ellen is, her term is up, I think, in June, and she's not re-upping. She's leaving okay. too. Okay. So, so am I up in June? So I come to the next meeting, right? I hope so. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it would be practical, but I'm not sure when my tone. If Ellen's ends in June, then mine must end in June. I think June is when the cycle ends. Yeah, okay. I'm stepping. I'm stepping out a, a month early, a month and a year. So <laughs> June, June 30. Is, is that June? Yeah, so it, I think it says it on the website. I'm not sure the exact thing. Oh, let's. I'll check. <laughs> When I've looked on the website, it just says like a year for our terms. I can't figure out when it is, but is it, yeah. so it's always like June. I think so. Angela knows all, you know, if you double check with Angela, she's the keeper of, of this info. Okay. So is it appropriate or inappropriate for me to write to Angela, just asking her what are, what are the kind of rules about recruiting for those places oh recruit 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 it falls on us i mean the town puts out a message on their website but they're always begging us to find people and we try uh -huh. you know all of us have reached out to different people over the would, over the years um, would you let me summarize the rule please please do it <laughs> that's the rule that's the rule yes oh okay <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's been very hard to find members it's very very hard and uh yeah it's you know it's a lot of work for it yeah. depends it could be not very much work or it can be a lot of work and you know we've been pretty ambitious in the things we've done certainly our people who are listening in terry and ann who were extremely ambitious terry did this uh, biennial for many years that was an incredible accomplishment and helped get all these works of public art in place initially i mean actually the public art commission has been one of the most active volunteer bodies in town for many many years but it, it's hard to, it's usually driven by one or two people at a time and it's hard to right. find people who are going to be that motivated to do stuff um as as volunteers so it's yeah it's, it's and tough. it's very important because it really improves the town it brings in new business but unfortunately that's not appreciated in the terms of a budget well Today I drove by the park that's across the street from a spoke. Mm -hmm. And it was full of families with little kids and people hanging out. And it sure, it looks really good when there are people yeah. really using the space and you know taking advantage of it. It's pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, and that's where that's where the Greenspoon sculpture went. And that's where yeah. that arched portal, portal, portal sculpture that uh, Terry I'll bring in is it's a nice place. I mean, I could certainly, and that's where the Crosstown art had a bunch of things. It'd be nice to get some more pieces of public art for that park too. Yeah. And Dar, you just made a great argument for why, because with the playground there, it's really become an energized space that people like to spend time in. And it, yeah. so. it looks good. Art looks better with people around it. Yes. Yeah, well, yeah, it looks so lonely by itself and it looks unappreciated by itself and it, it really should be contributing to people's pleasure in my opinion which means they have to be there yeah all right and um moving along the town hall gallery right now there's the um isabella Holstead 
show and she has she's out of town right now but um she has somebody that is interested in making a purchase from her so that's good so you got yes yeah, they email me about it brianna i think that it's that they got in touch with you or yeah. somebody got to, okay good yeah and i got in touch with the artist and, but she's out of town and yeah. she is a she has a hard time with some making some um, connections sometimes. But it's all working out. <laughs> and it's, it's a lot of work. It'll be nice to have more people on to have some help with that in the future. Yeah. And plans with moving forward. What do we got? Anyone got plans for moving forward? <laughs> well, I think the imperative is really figuring out what's going to happen with making it public and with the portal gallery. Um, I mean, I think that's really, and well, of course, think about fixing the poetic dialogue, but um, yeah, I think we already have an action plan for that, at least. We don't have any plan at all for the other two. So I think that needs to be resolved. And I think Maureen is the key person. So I think scheduling a meeting with her, bring somebody else along. Um, I guess if Ellen's stepping down, <laughs> Jim's stepping down and I'm stepping down, you guys are going to be, I don't know how you're going to get anything done, but um, me and Dara. <laughs> but you can't even you can't you can't do anything because you, you don't have a quorum. So I mean you can you can you two of you can do stuff, but so how'd you come up with four, Bill? I mean out of seven. Four out of seven is a quorum. Oh, you 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 assume there were seven members. But if they're it's not a total, seven, it's a total membership. It's out of the total membership. Right. But what if your membership is only five because there's only five appointed? It doesn't matter. I, I, I clarified that with with Paul, oh, we, did? Had, we had we had that issue before Dara joined. Oh, okay, that was just checking because of some Angela said. But all right, so okay, my action item will be contacting Kamal Peters and contacting Maureen. Um, who else has an action item for review? Me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're gonna talk to um someone the, about whether we can keep the art count the amherst art commission art council money yeah the commission and shona you need to so let me know if you want me to be at the next meeting or any of the subsequent meetings certainly reach out to me invite me i'll come in as attendee you can bring me on as a panelist if you need me to be part of the discussion um get in touch with me so we can meet and i can give you the magic box yeah and uh, mm -hmm. this is my last meeting, so Hi. thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it's, too, it's too bad it had to end on Zoom. I've hated doing all this over Zoom the last couple of years. That's another thing that's really kind of pushing me away, I think. Um, so you guys should see about meeting in person again and when that might be possible. I think that really brings some more camaraderie to the to the. Yeah. Group. Well, I want to do it when everybody can do it and um... We've always been wanting to watch the numbers. And when everybody is comfortable with how the trends are going with the cases, then I think we can go ahead and meet in person again. I would like that too. Um, and speaking of. Well, just to make you feel better about not doing it on Zoom, not about doing it on Zoom, but not in any way meaning to negate what you said about meeting in person. However, my daughter, son-in-law and granddaughter all were vaccinated boosted, they got COVID. There's a person on my neighborhood who's on the directors of the Neighborhood Association. He's vaccinated, came to my house. We had a long chat. He left and two days later, I got the call that he got COVID. I didn't. So yeah. it is, there's a certain amount of prudence that we have to observe. That said, it would be really nice to be in person. Yeah. All right. What? Let's schedule our next meeting. 
And it looks like the natural choice would be Monday the 13th of June, but I've got an appointment. I can't do that day. Um, Gosh, I'm so busy. I don't know if I can fit any changes in. Ha ha. The 20th, does that seem too far away? Only if we have to spend some money in the next couple of weeks. Oh, good point. It, you know, why does it have to be on? A, I mean, if you're thinking it has to be on the same day of the week, we can always change the day of the week. Yeah. Oh, and this could change, actually. Like, I'm actually, I have a job interview on Thursday. And if that happens, I'm, I'm going to have some changes in my work hours. Oh, well, can we do it before your job interview? Uh, well, my job interview is on this Thursday. <laughs> oh, this coming one. I yeah. Guess I can't. <laughs> All right. How does um, the 6th of June, Monday, the 6th of June, sound to everybody? Excuse me. Uh, what time? At four. Oh, I can do it. How about you, Dara? Could you do that? Uh, I can as of now, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so then I'll, I'll put that down for June 6th at four o'clock. And I'll get that into Angela. Okay. Oh, I got my term. Ooh. <laughs> All right. And does anybody else have any business unanticipated prior to setting the agenda? I could have a problem because I have a note. You have a note? Wait a minute. Let me just, can you just give me, I thought I saw a note saying my commission expired, but Guess no. not. Okay, I guess I'm good. Okay. All right. So I think we're done, right? Does I? I think we did it. <laughs> good, good job. Good job. You got through the first yeah. one. Well done. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay. Bye. Right. Bye. 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 Meeting is adjourned. Meeting adjourned. Bye. <laughs> Bye.